Hey folks, today I wanted to make a uh, YouTube video about Need for Speed Most Wanted for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita. I'm going to make this quick and briefly and give you my honest rating about the game and my honest point of view of the game and some of the dislikes that I have. Uh, let's start off with the disappointment with the game. I know some of you guys are like wondering, you know, it's what it is. The only thing that disappoint me with the game is just that the customization is not there. You're not able to put spoiler, spoilers, rims, or body kits, or customize your windshield or anything like that. Like the original Most Wanted. Um, I wish we were able to do that because I know some of you guys would make some awesome cars. You most likely upload them to YouTube and, you know, take pictures of the cars that you make. That's the only disappointing that I had experienced that I didn't like. Um, now I'm going to give you the good parts of the games, about the game, and the, on the multiplayer as well. So let's start out with the PlayStation Vita version of Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, the PlayStation Vita is a, has an amazing graphics for a handheld gaming device. I was completely blown away for the way how the game turned out to be. Because it looks exactly like the PlayStation 3 console. And it was very fun, and it, it gets you very addicted. It just makes you feel like you're in in the action. It's like making you feel like you actually play on a PlayStation 3 console, except except that that you're you have a big nice screen in the middle of a PlayStation Vita, yeah. And the multiplayer has four players for the uh, Vita version, and even Speed most wanted, which is very fun. I didn't experience no lag compensation whatsoever. And whatever points I was receiving on the Vita. It will transfer over to the PlayStation 3, so vice versa as well. Now here's my honest review for Most Wanted for the PlayStation 3, and something a little weird that I'm going to let you guys know that happened to me while I was playing the game. I think one of you guys are able to see the weird glitch that happened to me while I was playing it in the last video. Um, let's start up with the weird glitch that happened to me on the PS3 console of the Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, while you're racing in the game, the game will automatically refreeze. And it will feel like the PlayStation, make it seem like the PlayStation 3 console will just freeze completely when it really didn't. Um, what you think you have to do is just press the start button or just press the, the, the middle button, the PlayStation Home, um, PlayStation Home button in the middle of your controller and just, you know, then press, then breeze, play, then press the start button again and just continue the game. That's the only weirdest glitch that I experienced. The multiplayer has up to 8 players online, which is very fun. Um, just try not to troll people because I tried trolling and wasn't really much as I ex explained even though I had a lot of fun I made a lot of people laugh and uh, a lot of people just sent me like some angry messages like just calling me a moron the single player well yeah single player you know finding smash the finding all the cars and smashing through billboards crack down bringing down gates being chased by the cops is very fun for both um, sides of the game for Vita and PS3 and uh, I, the only thing I was really, I really wish they would just tell us about the drivers, if there was any drivers, you know, just not just like a little cut scene about the cars that you're going to race against. I really wanted to see, you know, a little information about the drivers or why, wh or why are the reason why we're racing in the first place. But above all, the game about Need for Speed Most Wanted is a very fun game and very interesting. I really enjoyed the game. I love the, the fact that I have a racing game that I'm out in the palm of my hands, wherever I can go to, deliver it, and just have fun. Need for Speed Most Wanted definitely delivers my uh, racing needs because it's fun, it's addicting, it's, it's just amazing. The graphics are so beautiful in the game, it's like you just want to keep playing it over and over. Um, some of the trophies in the game is very challenging, which is very good because it just makes you want to work hard for your platinum. Or if you guys, you know, gamer score if you have for uh, Xbox 360. Um, above all, in the ratings, I, I will give Need for Speed Most Wanted. I'll give it a 5 out of 5, which is perfect for me because I really enjoyed it. I, give, I just gave you my honest rating about the game, what I like about the game, what I didn't like about the game. Um, if the developers are watching this video, uh, I wonder if you guys can help, you know, fix up that little glitch I was just mentioning to you about Need for Speed Most Wanted on the PlayStation 3 console because it happened more than one time to me and I think it's very important that you guys want to look into that because uh, I, I, I don't, never experienced that in a game before, especially on a new game that just recently just came out, but I didn't expect, you know, something that would just happen after a week later. But above everything, the game is fun, the multiplayer is fun, and just 
everything about the game is completely fun. So that's my honest rating about the game. I give it a 5 out of 5 on the PlayStation Vita and a PlayStation 3. So, if you guys got any more questions or anything you guys want me to post more videos or want me to make a video exclusively for the PlayStation Vita, like another gameplay, just guys let me know. Just comment down, like, subscribe, and share my video so other people can see and give you, um, and just show, let them know my, my honest rating about Need for Speed Most Wanted. Because it's very funny, not only just it's fun, but it also helps out, you know, make this the game better for everybody. Because if you're a racing fan, I definitely recommend you this game. So that's it for today's video for me. I'm going to be hoping I'll be keep working on another project. I'm working on Dead Island. So hopefully I can get that up as well. And that is all for today's video. Uh, I'll see you next time. And have fun today.